Dark clouds blanketed the island, covering the moonlight and plunging the place into utter darkness. Adele stood, gazing at the island that now seemed like a massive beast lurking in the shadows. Fear surged in his heart, but he remembered why he had come to this place. To break the curse that ruled the island and to save its people from the clutches of evil. Suddenly, evil spirits appeared before him, grotesque and terrifying in form. They surrounded him from all sides and began speaking in distorted voices, trying to plant fear and doubt in his heart. Stranger, what are you seeking in our land? There's no place for you here. You can't defeat the darkness, Adele. This island belongs to us, and we won't allow you to free it from its curse. As Adele faced this evil onslaught, he mustered all his strength to overcome the fear and terror that stood in his way. The evil spirits continued speaking in distorted voices, trying to stir up his doubts and weaken his resolve. Where is the goodness you pretend to embody? You'll never succeed, for darkness always prevails in the end. Adele resisted his fear, recalling everything the island had taught him about courage and faith. He shouted in a strong voice, I won't give up! I will free this island from your evil and I will light it with the brightness of goodness. The evil spirits attacked him with full force, trying to drag him into the darkness. Adele felt pain and terror, but he clung to hope. He remembered the words that echoed in his ears about the power of love and faith, and he began using his inner strength to resist the evil. Faint lights glowed from Adele's hands, illuminating the darkness and pushing the evil spirits back. The battle grew more intense and fierce, but Adele did not retreat. He fought with all his might, determined to achieve his goal. Suddenly, he was struck by false, painful memories. He saw Alia's face covered in blood and heard her horrifying screams in a deadly accident. He was paralyzed with shock, consumed by fear and loss. No! Adele screamed as he collapsed to the ground. At that moment, Adele remembered the old woman's last words. Don't give up hope, Adele. Don't let the darkness steal your heart. Adele slowly rose to his feet and wiped away his tears. He resolved that he would not surrender to those false memories, and he would complete his mission. Summoning all his courage, he once again used his inner strength to resist the evil. The lights emanating from Adele's hands grew brighter, illuminating the entire cavern. The forces of evil let out terrifying shrieks, and from the shadows, monstrous forms emerged, surrounding him from every direction. A violent struggle erupted between Adele and the forces of evil. Adele used everything he had learned, but the forces of evil were powerful and savage. Trees were uprooted, and flames burst from the ground. Adele screamed at the top of his lungs, calling for the forces of good to help. In a critical moment, Adele remembered the magical flower given to him by the Tree of Hope at the start of his journey. Adele, grasping the flower and shouting, Oh God, help me! From the flower, a brilliant light radiated, illuminating the island and weakening the forces of evil. The sun rose over the island, washing away the darkness of the night. From a distance, Adele saw a new flower blooming, and a small branch growing. It was the branch that Hope had brought from the abandoned island. Adele looked at Hope with joy, for the tree of sacrifice had begun to grow again. The emotions of the island emerged in awe of what was happening, their voices rising in joy. We are free! We are free from the curse of evil! You did it, Adele! The island is free now! Adele felt overwhelming happiness, but he was also exhausted and drained. Meanwhile, back in the hospital, the doctors noticed some vital signs improving in Adele's body. They announced that his condition was improving, and they informed his family, who rejoiced at the return of life to him. Adele began to recover day by day, supported by specialized medical care and the endless love of his family. He healed slowly, regaining his strength gradually, until he reached the point where he was finally able to leave the hospital. But life still held surprises for him. The first surprise was that three years had passed since that tragic moment when Adele had nearly lost his life. The second surprise was that he had lost part of his memory. He could not recall some of the important events that had occurred before the terrible accident. And so, Adele stood before new challenges in his life, ready to face the effects of this difficult experience and return to his life with renewed strength and faith in the future.